Hi, my name's Chrissy. Hi, my name is Kevin. Hi, my name is Guillermo. Hello, my name is Dylan. And I'm Justin. And today, hopefully, we can teach you a little something about measles. Let's start with some basic facts about measles. A measles is also known as rubiola. It's rubella. It's rubiola. Rubiella. It's rubiola. Rubinella. Rubella. Rubiella. It's rubiola. It is a highly contagious respiratory infection. It is mostly identified with a full body rash. Some signs and symptoms of measles prior to getting the full body rash are sneezing, coughing, runny nose, and red watery eyes. You can also get a small wild dots inside your mouth, right in there. These white spots are called coplic spots. This is Megan. Megan is feeling under the weather, but she does decide to go to work. She is unvaccinated against the measles virus. And what she doesn't know is that she now has the measles. She's been experiencing flu-like symptoms for four days. She knows she is sick, but she is under the impression that she has a common cold or flu. She is trying to be responsible and isolate herself in her office while at work. In reality, Megan has been infected with the measles virus for four days, but has no idea she may not get that classic rash for another 10 days. Rash or no rash, she is contagious. She is working in her office alone, and once done, we go home with limited contact with other people. What she does not know is that the virus can stay airborne where she has coughed or sneezed for up to two hours. Megan has finished her work and has gone home for the day. Tim, who is also unvaccinated, comes in to clean the office. Can you guess who's now infected? Water measles! I'm Raviola. I'm Nia! Hi, I'm Mason. I'm infected with measles and rubiola. Her. <coughs> no, I'm infected with measles. I don't feel good. I've got a cough and a sneeze and my eyes won't stop running and I have a fever. <sighs> I've got a rash and my fever is really high. Whoa. Once contracted, there's no cure for the measles. And most of the time, infected people recover with no long-term complications. However, in rare cases, it can lay dormant in your brain for up to 10 years and may resurface causing a fatal disease called subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. One in every thousand children will get encephalitis. Encephalitis is a swelling of the brain. Measles was considered eliminated here in the United States in 2000. However, unvaccinated people still get it from people infected from other countries that come to visit. We have a 92 to 94 percent vaccination rate for measles. The only way to prevent measles is to become vaccinated. Here in the United States, we give a two-shot series. The first shot is given to children between the ages of 12 and 15 months old. The second shot is given to children between the ages of four and six years old. and is given in a combination shot with MMR or MMRV, which is measles, mumps, and rubella. The shot is a live virus or an attenuated vaccine. We have used the same measles strain since 1968. Measles genome is found in the RNA of your cells. This makes fighting measles very difficult since it attacks your RNA. In 2014, we saw a spike for the measles virus, and it caused world news due to it being thought to have been contracted in one of our famous theme parks, Disneyland. A huge portion of those people who were infected at Disneyland were mostly unvaccinated children. This is why herd vaccination is very important. Even if there are unvaccinated people there, they will still be protected from the people who are vaccinated. She's protected because we're vaccinated. Mm -hmm. You don't get measles from the grass. You don't get measles from the dirt. You won't get measles from trees either. You don't get them from dogs. Mwah. Humans are the only known carriers of the measles virus. Oh.